Today we're going to change the clutch on a steel TS410 cutoff saw. First of all use a Torx spanner to remove the screw that secures the water connector from the underside of the machine. This will provide better access to the recoil. Next use a 19mm hex socket spanner turning it anti-clockwise to loosen the tension of the belt. Once this is done use a 30mm hex socket spanner to loosen the three nuts that secure the recoil assembly. Then revisit each nut and completely remove them freeing the recoil from the machine. Using the torque spanner, remove the screw that secures the nose guard to the arm. Once the nose guard is off, use a 19mm hex socket spanner, turning it anti-clockwise to further loosen the tension of the belt. Completely remove the front of the saw to free the belt. You will then need to remove the cover of the machine and the spark plug and screw in the piston stop. This will lock the crank so you can remove the clutch. Using the 13mm socket spanner, undo and remove the nut that secures the clutch and remove the starter cut by sliding it off. Then use a 13mm socket spanner turning it clockwise to loosen the clutch and unwind it off. You can then take off the spacer and remove the clutch to fully assembly and inspect the bearings for any signs of wear. If you are simply checking the clutch and don't plan to replace it, make sure you check that the springs don't have cracks or are worn out. Also check the clutch shoes for wear. Place the clutch pulley assembly and spacer back into position. The clutch has a left hand thread, so turn it anti-clockwise along the thread, then secure it in place using the 13mm hex socket spanner. Relocate the starter cup, make a note of the mould ensuring you fit it correctly. Then screw the nut back into place and tighten with a 13mm socket spanner. Unscrew and remove the piston stop that was fixed to the top of the machine. Unscrew the spark plug in, being careful not to damage the thread. Then tighten it with a 19mm hex socket spanner. Locate the cap back on top of the spark plug. Then place the cover back over it and screw it back on using the torque spanner. To fit the belt, locate it over the clutch, making sure that it is sitting in the grooves correctly to prevent damage to the belt. Then feed the belt back through the arm, relocating the arm back into position around the studs. Feed the belt back around the pulley. Slowly turning the pulley will help you easily locate the belt. Make sure the blade turns with a smooth motion. Relocate the casing onto the arm and use a torque spanner to fix this in place. Make sure the screw is secure without over tightening it, as the casing is only plastic. Locate the recoil assembly onto the machine, loosely turn each nut a few times. Then return to tighten each nut with a 13mm spanner again. Be careful not to split the plastic when tightening. Then retension the belt using the 19mm hex socket spanner. Don't forget to fix the water connector back into place under the machine using the torque spanner. That's how you change the clutch on a steel TS410. All the parts and tools needed for the task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.